Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. I'm having a lovely, lovely day. So I am just back from walking Harley this morning. It's currently half past eight and at nine o'clock I have an appointment to get my hair cut, which is a really big thing for me, <laughs> which is gonna sound really stupid because I know like most people get their hair cut like every few months. Um, but I looked back on my Instagram to find out when it was that I last got my hair cut. I kept saying like, oh, I think it's about like two and a half years. It turns out it was three and a half years ago that I last got my hair cut, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get it cut just cause it's really damaged. Uh, it doesn't look great. I just think it will look tidier once I get it cut. Sorry, my dog just started going crazy at the postman there. So in case you're wondering why the angle's changed. But yeah, what I was saying was, the reason why I haven't had my haircut in so many years, and it's gonna sound really like silly and stupid to you guys if you don't like go through it as well or like understand it, but I basically avoid going to the hairdressers because it makes me so nervous because the thought of having to like sit in a chair and look at myself in the mirror trying to make small talk with someone is like my idea of hell. Like I am so nervous. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but like I was even having nightmares about it. I was losing sleep over it. Like I'm so scared and it sounds ridiculous. I know, but I'm just the worst at small talk. And I just like dread that I'm going to go to the hairdressers and the hairdressers like when I leave is going to be like to her colleagues. Oh my God, that was the most boring client I've ever had because I don't know what to say and I don't want to make small talk. So that's why I've avoided the hairdressers for the last three and a half years. But today I'm going, I've booked the first appointment. They open at nine. I've got an appointment at nine. So I'm gonna head there now and get my hair cut. So I'm actually excited about getting my hair cut, just not very excited about the small talk. But yeah, take a last look at the length of my hair. I'm gonna go now because I've actually got my car this morning because Michael doesn't start work till the afternoon. So I'm gonna drive there, but I don't, like I know where I'm going, but I don't really know the parking situation. So I'm gonna go now and figure that out. Wish me luck, I know this sounds crazy. Cause <laughs> I'm making it sound like I'm going on a job interview, but I genuinely feel the same nerves and like sick feeling as if I was going on a job interview, which sounds ridiculous, but it's just how I feel and I can't help it. Okay guys, so I've arrived. I've parked a little bit away from it. Not too far, it's literally like a two minute walk from here, but I could have parked right outside it, but it's just like parallel parking and I can't park in between two cars, like parallel. I just can't do it, guys. Um, so I found somewhere that I can park and I'm just gonna walk over. Um, probably when you see my hair cut, it's gonna be like very windswept because obviously now I live by the sea, it's so windy. Um, and even just like that two minute walk from the hairdressers back to my car, my hair's gonna be crazy, but um, I'll still show it to you guys. Okay, ignore the fact that my hair's a bit windswept, but I got my hair cut and I'm so happy with it. Like this is such a nicer length, like it just looks tidier and just like more neat. I'm so happy with it and I'm excited to just like have shorter hair again. Um, so she curled it for me and yeah, I'm delighted with it. The woman that did my hair couldn't have been nicer. Like she was so lovely, made me feel so welcome. Like I was nervous for nothing. Like she was really chatty, which was great. Like had the conversation um, and yeah, I felt really comfortable talking to her, which is really good. Like that was just such a worry for me. Um, so yeah, as always, I had nothing to worry about and I would gladly go back to that place and get my hair done again. So yeah, I'm so happy. So I'm back home now and yeah, like I said, I'm just so happy with my hair. I really love it. I hope that I'm gonna be able to curl it like this because I asked my hairdresser to basically show me how she curls hair with straighteners because I just can never curl my hair with straighteners or anything. Like I've tried using like hair tongs and stuff like that and it just, I'm just not good at it. So I got some tips from her. So I'm hoping that I can curl my hair every now and then and just not always have it straight and sort of like switch up because I actually really like it when it's curled. I think it looks so much thicker. Like she even said, like it makes my hair look a lot thicker and I couldn't agree more because um, I do have like quite thin hair. So it's nice to like have it looking quite full, which I really like. But yeah, like I said, I have my car this morning. So I think what I'm gonna do just now is go and make a list of all the food that we need because I need to do a food shop. We literally 
have like barely anything in so whilst I have the car obviously I'm gonna make the most of it and go and do a food shop so yeah I'm gonna make a list of things so that I because I don't want to forget anything because if I do then I'm not gonna have my car later on so I can't just nip back out and get it so that is what I am gonna do I absolutely hate food shopping but it's got to be done it's one of those boring tasks I'm just like really I have to do this on my day off I hate being an adult <laughs> When the sun's out, it really shines in the living room and it's so nice because Harley loves lying in the sun so he'll just like lie on the rug here um, or like on the sofa just like basking in the sun and it's the cutest thing ever. When I say that we need to go food shopping, we really need to go food shopping because this is what our fridge currently looks like. Ooh, Diet Coke. Okay, I'm back from doing the food shop, so I'm just going to put it all away. It actually didn't take me that long. Um, I'm kind of getting used to like that layout of that Tesco, so I feel like I was quicker this time. But I got these things, um, like the little plug-in Febreze things, um, and then I got this one, which is like supposed to fight pet odour, um, just because in our old flat, like whenever like my mum or dad came, they would be like, in a nice way, just let me know. They'd be like, yeah, your flat stinks of dog when you come in. And yeah, I just kind of want to make sure that this place, like when people come in, they're not like, ew, what is that smell? So I thought I would try this. And I also got um, this as well, fabric freshener, which is supposed to, is that boxy? There we go. Uh, also fight pet odour just because I am one of those people that lets my dog like on the sofa, on the bed, like everywhere so I thought this might just refresh it because Harley basically is my baby like he's allowed to go wherever in the house, he's allowed to go on any furniture but yeah I I feel like I don't smell it because I'm so used to it but also I don't want my house to smell disgusting um, as much as I love you Harley I know that like that dog smell isn't very nice um, so I want to hopefully like just make it smell nice. Um, I also got a vanilla one as well, but I don't know why I didn't get another plug. I just thought of that. But I can always get another plug for another room, but I thought that would be good just like in the hallway so when people come in, it's just like, nice. And I think these were on offer, so like all these things, it was like four for three, so I got one for three, which is good. Um, everything else is not really exciting, apart from this hand wash, guys. If you haven't tried this range, it's amazing. It's the I don't even know how to say this, Cousin's Creations Milo Magic. I get the bath soap of this, the shower gel, and the hand wash, and oh my gosh, it smells incredible, I need to try it. And then I also got some hairspray, because I thought if I'm going to actually try and curl my hair, um, it might be a good idea to get some hairspray. I feel like the curls are already dropping. My hair just doesn't hold curls very well, but to be honest, it was very windy outside. But... Yeah, I thought if I got hairspray it might help. The last time I spoke to you guys it was the morning. It's now like almost 4pm I think. Um, but I think you last saw me putting away the shopping. But yeah, then I showed Michael my new hair and he loves it. And then I was just chatting with him for a bit before he left for work. And then um, I literally had some lunch, <laughs> listened to some Elvis Presley. And yeah, I was just in the best mood. I just love listening to my music. Like I never have it on loud, I mean just I love having it like quietly on in the background. Um, I absolutely love it. And then I actually filmed a Q&A so yeah that will be, I don't think it'll be up yet but yeah keep an eye out for it. It's probably going to be quite a lengthy video because yeah it took me like all afternoon to film it because I just got chatting and I just really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, anyways, I am now about to wrap my mum's presents because obviously tomorrow is Mother's Day. So I need to write out her card. I got this really nice one with a beautiful meaning verse because my mum absolutely loves cards like that and so do I. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna write that out. And then I've got a nice gift bag and then these are all of her gifts in here. So the first thing I got her is this little duvet set, um, which has like the little gonk things, I think that's what they're called, that she likes. And this one is like a really nice spring color, uh, like lots of nice pastels, like just, yeah, I thought it would be nice for her to have like some spring bedding. And 
if you guys have been watching the vlogs for a while, you'll know that my, sorry, I've grown up saying on my foot, um, that my mum loves homeware. So yeah, I think she'll like that. Then I got this candle from TK Maxx. I thought it was really cute. It just says on the top, love you, mum. And it's got like some really nice flowers. And then yeah, that is the candle there. I love TK Maxx for candles. Like they just have so many. And this smells amazing. I just thought it was really cute. So this is like, I don't even know what that says. Something vanilla. I'm not even gonna, what are you doing, Harley? He's just randomly rolling around. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that, but just believe me when I say it smells amazing. But how cute is that? I thought that was adorable. And then I got her these really cute um, daisy balls. They were from, I think B&M actually. Um, they're really cute like pasta colours and then they're just like, yeah, daisies. They're so cute. I just thought they were adorable. Um, I thought she might like those. And then this one's kind of not really a present. I just saw it and I knew that my mum wanted it. And yeah, this is what I was talking about today. It's the marshmallow shower gel because I'm pretty sure when I lived at home, I bought this one time and then my mum absolutely loved it. And I feel like quite recently she said to me like, where did you get that amazing marshmallow shower gel? She's like, I can't find it anywhere. And uh, yeah, I feel like they only ever do it in like B&M or like home bargains, but I don't think they did it, they do it at the B&M uh, near where my mum lives because I remember not being able to find it there before but they do it at the one that's closest to me now so I thought I would pick that up for her but yeah it's not really a present but I just yeah I'm gonna get it for her anyways and then this is probably like her main present I absolutely love this I found this in Next and it's absolutely gorgeous like this skirt I want it for myself <laughs> like I saw it I was like I want that but I was like I know my mum would like it it's like a really nice long um just like really beautiful skirt I feel like me and my mum have quite a similar style um so I just feel like she would really like this like look at a gorgeous pattern and then it's got like these like lacy brown bits here I just think she'd love that for um our holiday to Grand Canaria. I thought that yeah she would look so pretty in that um so I hope she likes that and then the last thing I got her the lady in the store actually wrapped it in bubble wrap so you probably can't see but it's like a little well you can kind of see through it it's like these little houses it's like a little ornament I feel like you can put plants or something in it I'm not too sure I just saw it and I was like that is really nice but it's like really cute and it reminded me of like the beach huts in Brighton and obviously like one of my favourite memories of my mum is our trip to Brighton like I would love to be able to take her there again um so I thought she could have this as a little memory of her trip because I don't know maybe it'll remind her of it as well but it reminded me of it as well um there was actually one other thing I ordered for her but it hasn't arrived in time so I'm hoping it arrives in time for tomorrow because I'm basically going to go to Inverness tomorrow because I'm off and spend some time with my mum which will be so nice and just yeah get to see her on Mother's Day which I'm so excited about so I'm hoping it arrives if not I'll have to just keep it for like for Christmas or give it to her just randomly but I wanted to give it all together but yeah I'm gonna wrap all of this now it's probably gonna take me ages because wrapping presents takes me a while. <laughs> I've finished wrapping all of my mum's gifts. I cannot wait to give them to her tomorrow. And now I'm gonna go take Harley for another walk. Cause you've been such a good boy while I've been busy filming videos and wrapping. Were you waiting for me? Yes. Good boy. Shall we go to the beach? Shall we go to the beach? <laughs> You're so cute. I don't know if you can hear me because it's so windy, but oh my gosh, it is freezing. I mean, it's always cold, but it's colder than usual. Probably because I have less hair now <laughs> to keep me warm. It is now a lot later. I actually bathed Harley and then I cleaned the bath so that I could have a bath. So he is all nice and clean. And yeah, I had a really nice relaxing bath. And now I'm just catching up on Celebrity Big Brother because I always watch it like 
a day behind, so I'm now watching last night's episode. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to just get cosy and watch that. So it is now the next day. I attempted to curl my hair by myself and it did not go to plan. So if anyone has tips on how you curl your hair or like what you use to make them stay in, please let me know. I tried some hairspray and it made my hair go like a brick. It feels horrible. Um, but my hairdresser used hairspray yesterday and it didn't feel like hairspray was in my hair. So I should have asked her which hairspray she used because it was amazing. Or like, is there something else that will hold curls that isn't hairspray because I just hate the feel of like store-bought hairspray like my hair's crunchy it's horrible um but yeah I have got my mum's presents all in the car so yeah I've just dropped Michael off at work and now I'm gonna drive to Inverness and see my mum and I'm so excited to give her all her gifts so I'm in Inverness now and I'm with my mum on Mother's Day she opened all of her presents back at home okay spoiled you like them all love them I'm I'm glad. Glad. Oh, um, so, yeah, I was going to say, so obviously we come to Costa and I got mum's lunch and then mum got, you probably can't even hear me because it's so noisy in here, and then mum got a whole uh, lunch for mommy. <laughs> Yeah, so like, it was so confusing, we were all buying different lunches and it was so confusing. But I'll show you what we got. We got like loads of donuts. That's like a caramel one, that's a chocolate one. What did you get? A caramel one as well. I got a cookie, I'm so glad that they actually have cookies again. Okay, so it's a lot later now. We were back home and like playing Scrabble and stuff, but now we come out for dinner. We come to Frankie and Benny's, which I'm so excited for. Are you looking forward to dinner? I am. you let me know dishes. I bet. Look at their menus, it's like a newspaper now. So I went for New York chicken, but I got it without barbecue sauce because I don't like barbecue sauce. But yeah, I'm so excited for this. I also got sweet potato fries as well. Mum got her burger. <laughs> Delicious. Just quickly ending the vlog because I forgot to film an outro but I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I didn't film too much on Mother's Day just because I was so excited about spending the day with my mum. I was so lucky that I got it off and like that I didn't have to work it and uh, that I was able to go and spend Mother's Day with her just because I love celebrations as you guys know and like I really appreciate like my parents so whenever it's like Mother's Day or Father's Day I always just like want to show my appreciation to them for like everything they've ever done for me and still do for me. Obviously I appreciate them every single day but it's just nice to have a day where like you can really show that appreciation like yeah I just love giving gifts as well so I'm so glad my mum liked her gifts and her card and stuff and yeah I just filmed little clips as you would have seen when we were out for like lunch and dinner but I didn't film anything when I was like actually at my parents just because it was nice just like catching up. We played Scrabble because that's our favourite thing to do and it was such a nice like wholesome family day and I loved it so much. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all again very very soon for another vlog. Bye guys! Thank you.